We begin with breaking news. Convicted rapist and disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein just pleaded not guilty to sexual assault charges in a downtown L.A. courtroom. KKL 9's Cara Fenstrom is live with the details for us. Cara. Good morning, Amy. That's right. He pleaded not guilty to these charges, which involve five different women, and his attorney indicated that they're going to try to get some of the counts dismissed. Let's get right to some video of Weinstein in the courtroom today. One camera was allowed inside as deputies pushed in his wheelchair. The former media mogul wearing a brown jumpsuit and mask shackled. The 69-year-old was extradited from New York yesterday and said nothing during this brief court appearance. His attorney actually entered the plea. Weinstein has been serving a 23-year prison term in New York for rape and a criminal sex act conviction. Now he's facing separate sexual assault charges here. They involve alleged attacks on five actresses and models at hotels in West L.A. and Beverly Hills between 2004 and 2013. If he's convicted, he could serve up to life in prison. Weinstein has denied the charges, and today his attorney indicated he will file a motion seeking to get some of them dismissed. The big picture is that these allegations stem from many years ago, and that's the problem the district attorney's office is going to face, and that's the problem all of these accusers face, in that they brought allegations that can't be substantiated or corroborated by any forensic evidence, any contemporaneous reporting, any credible witnesses. Allegations of sexual assault and rape often take a long time for a victim to report, so the idea that they may not have disclosed too many to any law enforcement officer for many years does not mean that those are not credible. And Weinstein's attorney also suggested that he was extradited prematurely, saying that the judge here should have been able to consider whether he should have stayed in New York to be treated for an eye problem that he said could lead to blindness. He's due back in court on July 29th. Amy?